See, that's what I enjoy is auto cam because you can see a little bit more of the field. It's not focusing on a specific player, so you get a better yeah. idea of where everybody is. Kind of alternates, it gives you a good view. Yeah. All right, guys, it's up to you guys. Thanks, Toasty. It was uh, it was fun having you as always. Um, all right, P well, take it. Away. P I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him P Fox. Okay. Fossilized now. Getting dribble, but Carney saves off the ceiling and Pbox and Carney both there. Still blocked by Sicky. Carney. Nice touch midfield for Shire. A lot Fossil of wonderful line. names. Oh yeah, a lot of classics. Fossil lot of, bot Carney Fox. A lot of very familiar faces in the chat of the Discord actually. Well, there you go. You got Bob. a great clear off that back wall by Jalap. Galapagos. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say Jalapagos, but that sound right. Gel gelato Gust. Yeah, gel Gelato Gust. <laughs> and then you got Fossil clearing it down the field, and uh, and beautiful sticky. sticky there. Midfield for Gelato Gust. I feel like we might be uh, offending Mr. Galapagos here, but uh, ah, but I hope cool. not. You know, at the end of the day, Fossilized scores. He's you know, uh, he's, he's so, admin. He'll fucking he'll time us out. Oh yeah. Man, that is not something I look forward to. Fossilized though, nice hey. double tap. It was, it was a beautiful Story shot. For Snowman. Good, good way to start the game. You know, you only a being, minute in. Snowman being 8-2 and two this season, and they also have the most shots per game of all the miners in the league. They're just the most offensive team in the league. And they're really showing it here as Siki. And I guess it's playing off, yeah. See, this is what we were missing from last series, Siki immediately follows up the rebound, barely gives it time to even bounce, and it just doesn't look like Doughboys were quick enough to get back in time. But you gotta remember, it's game one, first minute in. You know, they're feeling each other out right now. They're seeing how everybody plays. Right there, you see that wonderful demo. And Easy shot. That's just, a, that's just a nice play all around. It was a great and kickoff and a good read by Fox. In any level of gameplay, demos are always a great a great sign of awareness and it's a skill in of its own. And P Fox recognizing this, getting the demo, it's just a nicely just a nicely executed play. Shire. Solid center by Fossil off grid. Sicky, <laughs> going for the follow. Again, up in the air, putting those shots on net. It's uh re-centered by fossilized. Over to Siki getting the nice angle off the crossbar. Galapagos couldn't get the rebound, but Fossilize hits it. Finally cleared by Carney. Carney now still on it, hits it to the side. He might be running out of boost here, so he turns around as Siki hits it off the corner for Fossilized. Siki now. Back over to the midfield for Fossil, who hits it close to the center, but is cleared by P Fox. This is Galapagos. Going for the center. P Fox now. Still with it on the sidewall here, running low on boost. Looking for the fakes. Zicky, looking for the center as Galapagos almost gets it, but it's cleared out. And P Fox getting the dunk, looking for the center here, just misses it as Zicky gets it clear, but it's recentered by Shire. Fossilized, and I'm hanging up for Galapagos. Another Sorry. center over by Carney. Carney. Galapagos. Hit Goes by for that soft touch. Tries to pass Sticky. it back. Up the wall, but might have beamed it here as Carney almost on target. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that was an open net. Carney missed an opportunity. P Fox, Fox takes the Nice rebound. Great center from Shire off the corner here. As you see, Ziggy kind of commit to this and get stuck out midfield, knowing that he wasn't going to beat. Um, Shire to the ball. He should have just went back in net and stuck second post and waited for the rebound, but he followed up behind him and in a way kind of hesitated. Just had a poor read. Exactly. See, the snowman came out full-fledged pressure, and they got those first two goals in, and they're feeling confident. And then you have the Doughboys coming in, smacking them down to size, letting them know that the game is not over yet. Oh, yeah. And keep in mind that Doughboys are, are, again, in a really tough division. They have top three teams that are all positive. And I think there's only two divisions in the league. 
or in this league that have three teams, all positive top three. And I believe that other division is which I, th I think it's Toon Squad, Toon Squad's division. Toon Squad, yeah, I I believe so. And Doughboys is seven and three, so they're really looking to make up that extra game this time. Oh yeah, this is a really big game for them. This is gonna. Is this will put them oh, yeah. right up where the snowmen were. And it could get them a uh, clear second place in their division. Absolutely. Fossilized with a great catch. And this is going to be there for P-Fox, but Sicky with a pass. It and it's saved by P-Fox. Shire's there, but he's going to get dunked by Sicky. P-Fox again, reading it. Off the wall, Galapagos gets a nice hit back. Send it from Galapagos. And he's pretty speedy. He got back there all, all for himself. Great hit in the air. P Fox. He's not even going to get down, but Sicky's going to be there and hits it at the corner. Botshire is going to go around the sideball with it, but he's bumped by Sicky. Fossilized. Going for the wall hit, but misses it. And Carney hits it over to Sicky on the wall. Galapagos with the clear, but P Fox is still close to it. He's going to pass it back for Shire. A dangerous pass. Shire, back. nice That's shot. Nice. Really odd. Beautiful play from Shire hitting it off the ceiling. Confusing this confusing the snowman. After getting bumped by Fox, he recovers to get the shot. It was beautiful. It's an excellent play from Shire. You secure the victory. Center from Galapagos to Sicky, but he can't get that angle. Five seconds and left to tie up the game. And Great it's cleared clear by Shire, and field. that's, that's going to be it. What a good first game for the Doughboys. They started off a little bit weak, a lot of pressure on them, and then just came back strong. It didn't seem like Snowman got the the shots that they were really expecting. And the shots that they did get, P-Fox seemed to handle pretty well. I know Carney got two saves as well, but P-Fox is doing an excellent job at clearing the ball to the side and avoiding rebounds. And we've and been seeing him do this all game. Time. Whether it's being bumped or rotating back, he was fantastic with the recoveries. Now, on the other team, you know, Sicky seemed to have a lot of great pressure. Fossilized was, was there when he needed to be. I just feel like it was a couple of small mistakes. You know, right at the end there, there was nobody rotating back. I know they were doing full pressure to try to get that last goal. But... Bot, oh. bot shouting you out. Am I, am I supposed to ready up? Because Galapagos didn't ready up. Yeah, but, we are um, we are waiting on Galapagos here. But yeah, whenever uh, whenever you are ready, you know, go ahead. Do Doughboy is only averaging a little over six shots a game. Getting four is is not a lot by their standards, and it's not a lot in general. But they seem to be making the most of their chances, which is what's a lot more important. And Snowman just have to clean up these rebounds and just finish them. And if they can try and get a couple bumps on. On um, Fox, I think that their chances are looking a lot stronger if they continue. Just just keep maintaining pressure and try and watch out for these these goals because it doesn't seem like Doughboys are putting up a lot of shots, but they're making the most of them. And there's a triple commit from Snowman as Fox gets the angle and he does. Fox, See, Fox... Ahead. Fox, excellent job at capitalizing on the mistake, going right away so and gets a nice angle. And if you'll notice, Fox's tag is the superstar, and so far that's all I've seen, is a superstar. Fox is playing like a ones player and just capitalizing on every mistake. Up in the air again with Fox. Carney trying to get a reverse in. Fox midfield but it's hit by fossilized and shire intercepts it don't think fossilized realized he was there no he was just trying to get the ball back to his side get a little protection in save him some time did not realize at all that he was passing it straight to the dope boys it's a good Sick fast you. kickoff there by carney though galapagos with the angle hits the post <laughs> Fox now, Fox now on his hood. He's gonna go for the dribble, and he Licks gets one over to Shire. What a great block by Shire. Carney 
Centers. Cleared by Fossilize now. Gonna go off the saddle for himself, but P Fox is there again. With the dribbles. Going off, off the ceiling. Now. Off the ceiling. Could get for the follow up here. This is a demo. Fossilize That's a hit. triple commit in an okay. open net. That's a counter attack. Oh, but what a great Shire get gets there in time. Center from Galapagos. And out by Shire. And Siki's there to follow it up. <laughs> Wonderful nice play by the Siki. Overall, it was a great pass out by Galapagos. You know, Shire on the wall, ready to clear it. Just got a bad bounce off it, and Siki was there to put it in. It's a bit of an unlucky bounce there, but Siki was great to read it like that. What and a bump! Fossilize now! Save by P Fox. Great save by Fox. Galapagos back over to Fossilized. Carney and P Fox are both up, but Shire is the one to get the clear. Shire now. Intercepted by Siki. Hits it in middle. Looking for Fossil. Saved by Carney. Shire with a clear up high. Hit by Galapagos. And that's Shire. Hitting it over the sidewall. There's Siki and Galapagos with a bit of a double commit. But it's an unlucky touch. But Carney's there in time. Clearing Zero it. Zero boost by Siki trying to put that ball in. Fossilized. Mike over the touch here. And but he gets bumped by his own teammate. Arnie. Fossilized now hitting it in midfield. Bit of an interesting play. Galapagos now taking his time. Hits it around Siki, but Carney's there. Gonna go for the dribble, but. Fossilized now. Middle. Here That's a Fox. triple commit on the wall. Could be dangerous. And they really have to get this out oh. in the other team half ASAP, or else they're gonna score here. It had a lot Fox of pressure in the pressure that he has. In it. Fossilized. Going to the sidewall. Might have enough boost for a, a shot here. Snowmen are definitely not going down without a fight. Constant pressure. Lots of shots on net. Plenty of pass plays. Just looking for those little Three mistakes blocks. that the Dill Boys are Midfield for Carney. Fossilized nice tries to get the field. Great effort. Shire. It's hit away by Galapagos to the corner. Carney misses it, but he's there for the follow. Nice clear from That's Shire. An Galapagos over to Siki. Can't get the angle. Not in the right position to receive that. Didn't expect it. It's Fossilized now. Play. Hit up in the air from Shire. He's going to waste a lot of boost going up for this. He's not going to beat to it. Carney now. With time. A lot of space here as well. Can he get the angle? And yes, he can. Just looking for that little extra security to make sure that they win this game. They're pressing hard. They're seeing what they can do. And I understand that Snowman really needed a goal here. But it was a bit of a risky play for Galapagos to go up for that. Knowing that his team couldn't get back in time if he missed it. He should have been a little more patient, waited for Carney to make a touch and go for the interception, maybe shadow him a little bit before receiving the ball. But I got to tell you, man, I'm a firm believer in the 20 and 2. If you got 20 seconds left, I, I believe you can get two goals almost any time. Oh, so yeah. up until that point, these guys are high champ level players. I'd never cut them out. And right and there, right Galapagos there. for the goal. Galapagos I mean, re redeeming himself here. Nice play off the wall, and Carney jumps a little bit late. And it was just a nice, simple tap. Straight in the net. Getting on Bachar. This is a nice shot. Carney winning the ball, and Galapagos is going to dunk it. He could center it here. But he realizes Shire's that Shire's going for it. Clear. Carney and Shire are a bit on top of each other. Boss now going to go for the ceiling shot. Ball bounces way too far too quickly. Shire now backflips it and Carney getting a clear, but Galapagos intercepts it. P Fox now gonna go for the wall clear, just misses it. Siggy's gonna hit this midfield for Shire who intercepts it again. Can they finally get out? Yes, it can. Fossilize is there. Hits it midfield by mistake and Carney almost capitalizes. Shire midfield! Galapagos can't get back in time. That's a great play from Shire. And again, they're up another two points. Mm -hmm. But that 20 and 2, 
as long as Snow Cone can get a solid kickoff goal or just a quick play in, I feel like they have every chance to get back at this. Yeah. I mean, they're a very offensive team. If anyone's going to do this, it's them. P Fox hitting it back down and Shy getting the clears. Carney hits in mid. Things are starting to sink. As 10 seconds left on the balls and Snowman's half. Shire now looking for the center. Fossilize is there in time, and that's game over. That's good. GG's be it. to the Doughboys, who get another series undefeated. They've already been undefeated their last three. This is their fourth undefeated game. Undefeated series in a row. Well and played. The Doughboys really needed that win. And it's good to see that they put their foot forward and made sure that they were there for it. This is well, like great. I said, James Matoski has been fantastic streaming with you guys casting. But I actually have a game that I need to get to myself. Oh, yeah.